Hey there. If you're a fan of casinos like I am, I'm sure you have a few little mementos you've picked up along the way as you visit a lot of your favorite casinos. Uh, and I'd like to show you just a few of mine. Here's one. It's, uh, I think you call these things swizzle sticks. Uh, you put them in the drink to stir them up, I guess. Uh, the one on the far left is from Maxim. Uh, I'm not really sure what casino that is. I don't know if it exists anymore. It probably doesn't. Uh, the Desert Inn is the one uh, that's the yellow one. El Ranchero is the red one. And Excalibur is the, the one on the far right, the black one. Uh, that's the only casino that, of these four that I think is still in existence. So let's take a look at a couple other things. Okay, so in my office, I have this, let me back up a little, or let me go like this. There you go, get, get you have a better look at it. But it's a framed, it's a, from the stands, a pretty famous picture. But it's got, uh, in case you don't recognize it, it's from the original Ocean's Eleven. Those are all the actors that were in it, not all of them, but the more prominent ones. Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop from left to right. And of course they have their names on the actual poster. And also down here in the corner, a little Stardust card that I picked up somewhere along the way. And down here, just a picture of Vegas looking at the Bellagio fountains. Haven't really found a place I wanted to hang that yet, so it's sitting there. And also, Ocean's Eleven World Premiere, which uh, I guess the premiere of that movie back in 1960 was in uh, was was shown on Fremont Street. There's three of the guys that were in the movie: Frank, Dean, and Peter Lawford, married to Kennedy, I think. So that's some of the things that I have. And I have one more to show you. Well, I guess you can't be a fan of going to casinos unless you collect poker chips. So that's what I have here. Let me back that out. It kind of hangs on a wall. It's got a glass case there. But these are some of the ones that I've collected. I'll run through these kind of quick for you. Let me see any of those that look. El Cortez, I like that one. And the Sands, of course. I had to buy that online because the Sands was gone before I had an opportunity to get to Vegas. Uh, some Fremont, let me see. What else we got here that's kind of old? They're from all over, actually. You could probably see that. New Frontier, that's gone. Planet Hollywood's still there. Sahara, the new Sahara, not the older one. River City Casino, that's in uh, St. Louis area. Mirage. Mirage is defunct now, so I'm glad I got that one while it was still around. What else we got? Casino Royale. Is that still there? I don't even know. Yeah, if you know, go ahead and tell me. I'd like to know. Treasure Island. That Treasure Island's not going to be there very much longer. I just got a feeling. Well, there's another Air El Cortez. I should replace that with something else. And a Sahara. There's two of those. Yeah. Golden Gate. Two Kings. That's a local casino. Monte Carlo. That's gone. Not there anymore. Some of these. 
And that one there, that's for my YouTube channel. I have a few of those left. I had to give those out to somebody. And then I got some other stuff up here. That's from the, from the grandkids and some military stuff. But this is uh, kind of a, a quick snapshot of some of the casino gambling, what have you, Vegas memorabilia that I've collected. And these chips will be an ongoing process for years to come. So please, if you feel up to it, share your memorabilia that you think other people might want to see, uh, especially if you have a collection of casino poker chips like I do. I would sure like to see them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you real soon.